observing the Earth 4.6 million years ago, we may have captured these images with our Earth monitoring system. The Earth monitoring sy system may have caught these images you are about to see. This is the planet we live on, Earth. The Earth is made of four layers, inner core, outer core, mantle, and crust. The atmosphere is a blanket of air that surrounds the Earth. The atmosphere is densest near the ground, but gets thinner with altitude. The crust is where we live. Under that is the mantle. Under that is the outer, outer core. Under that is the inner core. The inner core is made of solid metal. The outer core is made of melted metal. The mantle is made of solid metal and rock. On the crust of Earth, there are seven continents and five oceans. Today, we are going to add a second layer to our maps that we made. Okay, so earlier this week we talked about Pangaea. We are going to add a second layer to our map. So we did our map of the continent and we put our oceans and our seven continents in. We did a key map to label where everything was. Well, today we're going to add a layer called so that we can actually get an idea of how it really changed. So we're going to be using this special paper today. It's called Bellum. And Mr. Miller made a map of Pangaea. And you are going to trace very, very slowly the map of Pangaea on this very, very special paper. Okay? It allows us to kind of see our map behind it. So you can see what Pangaea looked like, and then if you lift your tab, you can see what the world looks like now. And that way you'll get a really good idea of how things have changed. Four point five billion billion years ago, the Earth looked very different. There was only one continent called Pangaea. There was only one ocean called the Panthalassic Ocean. Scientists believe that Pangaea existed two or three billion years ago. Eventually, Pangaea started breaking apart, forming the continents. Scientists have discovered that the Earth is made up of a dozen pieces of rock called plates, which fit together like a puzzle piece. 
The continents and oceans rest on these plates. Converge is a plate movement. Convergent plates are plates that come together which can make a mountain. When India collided into the region, it made the Himalayan mountains. Where plates meet, a lot can happen, like volcanoes, earthquakes, mountains, and trenches. Subduction is one of the plate movements. Plates can also converge and then subduct. When an oceanic plate hits a hard continental plate, subduction can happen. Subduction is when one plate goes under another making a tsunami or a volcano. Hot spot an area with lots of volcanoes in the Pacific Ocean led to the formation of the Hawaiian Islands. Divergent is a plate movement. When magma comes to the surface, surface it is called lava. The lava cools in and becomes new crust for the Earth. That's happening right now. Why are plates moving? The plates are moving because of something called convection currents. Convection currents are happening in the hot, molten mantle underneath the plates. And every day in our oceans with hot water, hot water rising and cold water sinking. It's like a cycle. Think of it like a giant hot conveyor belt or a bicycle wheel under the plates moving them in different directions. In addition to the earthquakes and other forces moving them every day. Weathering is not the same as erosion. Erosion is when soil or rock is carried away. Weathering is a process involving rain, wind, snow, slowly changing earth features. Our Shandong Long Island is moving west. Our island changes with every wave. Glaciers are huge, slow-moving mountains of ice that erode the land, changing the way it looks, forming lakes, streams, ponds, and flowing to the ocean. In some places, like Antarctica, snow piles up all year. When the snow piles up and gets cold enough, it becomes a glacier. When glaciers move, they are like bulldozers, eroding land, tearing up trees, carrying rock and soil around. Glaciers move about two centimeters a year. Things are happening both inside of the earth and outside of it. Tectonic plates, convection currents, volcanoes, tsunamis, wind, rain, and snow, everything is changing. Some changes happen fast and some happen slow. Over millions of years, things formed and old things disappeared. Nothing st is still or quiet 